<laughs> you are going to you're going to share right about um the current event that's happening yeah Shabi is my dear friend I, in case the first time you ever mm -hmm. seen her yeah I, she, I just okay. wanna yeah I just do it very quickly because we're okay. running out of time so I was gonna share the uh, the recent horse strike with the unit workers because um they are asking for more pay and they don't they want to avoid automation which is AI and they just can't come to a conclusion just today after three days of strike and the new pay is from thirty nine dollars per hour to sixty three dollars per hour but but um as you know as a business owner's point of view no matter if it's thirty nine or sixty three there's always that cap, right? So, which means no matter how much they ask, they are not in control of their own income because 39 or 63 is a cap for them. But as a business owner, like I, I do, do uh, real estate, every morning I wake up, I don't know how much I'm going to make. Can be less, can be a lot more, right? So that's the unlimited um, income that that a business owner have versus the employee or the contractor or the unit workers. So, and as Wendy mentioned inflation, I was telling her that paycheck has the, has no inflation. If you guys realize that paycheck usually, um, you know, you probably get a couple cents, couple dollars increase raise over year over year, but the inflation is actually 2% normally, and right now it's like 6 7 And if the strike was continue on, then a lot of our groceries, gas, or even um, any essential, like, like you guys were talking about rice, will increase because the supply and demand is not balanced. So that's the... Part I want to share related to inflation and and, and uh, incomes and paychecks, yeah. So they are they they are not on strikes anymore. Yeah, they just came to an agreement today after three days, which is you know which That's is good. good. Yeah, but again, you know, it's they're not having their own power. They have to rely on the unit uh, leader to negotiate a contract. And once they negotiate, it's still a cap, right? You know what I mean? $63 per hour. But if we're a business owner, we can maybe make $100 per hour today, and maybe $200 tomorrow. You never know, right? There's no cap. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's good as I can get my food in the groceries and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your I, rice. I, I almost went to get more toilet paper. <laughs> as oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Shelby. Uh, thank so, you. So, yeah. Um so at the end of the day, right? Re whether you're working for someone else or you're running your own business, inflation is always um lurking in the background, okay? And making everything feeling a little bit harder. So, but it doesn't have to stay that way, okay? If you um if you don't mind to make some more income, uh, you guys are welcome to contact us or whoever you invited you here today for more information. Because, uh, I mean, I truly feel that New Skin gives us a chance to take the back, take back the control, uh, to create a future together. Okay, um, whether we are, I know, not just keeping up with the rising costs, but we are thriving in our life. Okay, we're building something that's lasting for ourselves and we have a community together and it's a global community yeah that's why i love about it and we have all you know different mm -hmm. kinds of people yes